Hello, and welcome to the UB Libraries video on creating an effective research question. In this video, we will explore some tips on how to create a high-level research question and why doing this is vital to research. Research questions come in various levels of complexity, but for those just starting to learn about research at the college level, we're going to focus on the basic level needed for success. First, let's review what is not a good research question. Questions that have simple yes or no answers or are simple fact checks are not good research questions. Is the sky blue? Yes. When did the War of 1812 start? These are not research questions and we have simple answers to them. What, why, how, and sometimes which are usually a good choice to begin a research question. Students are very good at creating a research question like, why are college students stressed? It is a simple question with a complex answer. The problem we run into is that there is too much information available. And when we break this question down into its two main parts, college students and stressed, we will have too many options and a far broader range of answers to our question than we wanted. This results in research papers and projects that tend to be unfocused and wander around. When you write a research question, you want a minimum of three parts or keywords to it. Another way to look at it is, what are the three things our question is about? We use three because it is typically narrow enough to keep us focused while broad enough to make sure we find a healthy number of sources. Let's look at how this works using our example question of, why are college students stressed? If we search using the keyword college students in a library database, we would find all the information the database contains about college students. That would be a lot. If we search the keyword stress, we would similarly find all the information published about stress. To help you visualize this, think of a circle and all the information about college students lives within that circle. When we add the idea of stress, we create a stress circle and find only the information that contains both of these ideas, only information that overlaps. This is the Venn diagram of research. The idea that we are actually searching for where different ideas intersect or overlap, such as college students and stress. However, this overlap is still very large, which is why we get so many results. If we add a third concept, such as grades, we add a third circle and create a smaller overlap. This is why we want research questions without easy answers that have at least three ideas contained within them. Now, our research question has evolved to how do grades cause stress in college students? We have the idea of grades, college students, and stress all rolled together. And we find the information where these three ideas overlap or interact. This is what you are actually doing when you conduct research, understanding how different things interact with one another. Before we go, remember that comparative words like effect, affect, impact, relationship, and others are not keywords you should search for in a database. They just fill out your research question nicely to ensure you know exactly what information you are searching for within your research. If you have any questions, please reach out to your library instructor. Have a wonderful day.